Warning, if you're a car guy, you're probably gonna hate this video, but trust me, you gotta watch it. Up to this point in our series, we've been looking mostly at fun, unique enthusiast cars, but I couldn't think of anything more commonplace to put in front of our panel of 10 single women than a plain Jane 2018 Honda Civic sedan in sizzling gray. What the ladies had to say and where they ranked this car against the 10 others in this test kind of blew my mind. This might sting a little, fellas, but stay with me. We're all in this together. Welcome to Retro Cars Forever. My name is Brad, and this is episode six of a 10-part, surprisingly eye-opening series. For this social experiment, I've gathered 10 single women, 10 single guys, and their 10 different cars. Our panel of single ladies are going to react and rank all the cars based on how likely they'd want to date the owners just based on their vehicles. Here are the results so far. The Jeep Wrangler is in a comfortable lead with the big bad Lincoln Navigator bringing up the rear. But right now, let's get to know today's challenger and the owner. My name is David. I'm an actor and I drive a 2018 Honda Civic. I chose this car because it's practical, but it looks good doing it. I like how the interior is larger than you would think when you look at the outside. It has some things like a backup camera, which is remarkably handy. This car was not designed to be all about fun, but it gets me where I want to go. Now, as a reminder, that clip you just saw of the owner was just for you viewers. The women did not get to see that. They were only shown footage of the car. So what did they think of this vehicle and where will it rank? Let's hear what they had to say. Oh, it's a Honda. All right, a little gray Honda. What are you? Oh, it's a Civic? What? When did Civics get cool looking like this? I had a Civic and my Civic didn't have that shape. It looks it almost like a Prius now. The last two dudes I have dated have driven gray Hondas. I'm not even kidding. So were they both Honda Civics? Yes. They were, were they both, both gray Honda Civics. Really? <laughs> yes. Apparently that's my type, gray Honda Civic. Yeah, seen it. Done it. Okay. <laughs> Pretty uh, vanilla. It's very mundane. It's not like Corvette. It's like, ooh, who's that? Like, this is just a car. It's not a, oh my God, look at that car, car. But it's also not a, oh my God, look at that car, car. Back at camera's nice. I love the parking lines, the guiding lines, because I don't want to park like a jerk. I used to dislike backup cameras because I pride myself on I'm excellent at backing up. So I thought, oh, people are cheating. They'll get lazy. That's like saying calculators make you lazy. I've had a backup camera now for two and a half years, and I love it. Phone connectivity is a huge plus. I do love, 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 love that I can play music from my iPhone through my speakers. I love that. Oh yeah, necessary. You gotta be able to listen to GPS and podcasts. This is the one that I wanna be driving in for, you know, maybe three days with a whole bunch of snacks. They're easy to take care of. Less hassle than other car. The vehicle is more of a way to help them accomplish everything else that they wanna do in their life, as opposed to the car is their life. I definitely rather go to Trader Joe's with the Civic than the Corvette, that's for sure. But the only problem would be sometimes you have to remember where your car is because you kind of get confused and like, well, is this my car? Oh no, that's not my car. <laughs> Are Civics hybrids these days? This particular Civic has just a normal gas engine, but you could get them as a hybrid for, you know, a few thousand dollars more. This is the thing I know as well, because one of the guys had the hybrid version. <laughs> the other guy had just the gas engine? Yeah, yeah, we had the, re the regular gas engine. The other one was the hybrid version. My God, why do I know so much about Greyhound Civic? Would it improve your opinion of the car if this was a hybrid versus a normal gas engine car like what it is now? I'm getting mixed feelings to this because like I'm, I'm looking at this image here and being like, I can work my way around that well enough to be able to keep maintenance on this thing really well. If it was a hybrid, that'd be a whole other story. But uh, hybrids are cool, man. Having a hybrid car is pretty smart and sexy. I do find it attractive when a guy cares about the environment. I want it to be as clean as possible for the babies I'm gonna be bringing into it. So fuel economy is important to me in terms of emissions. So if you have a hybrid, then you have less emissions. Yes, there are the arguments 
for the environmental impact of creating the batteries. But I would say that while the process itself may be damaging, the long-term benefits outweigh the damages in the actual creation process. So it shows some forethought and I appreciate that. So in other words, all things being equal, you got one guy over here with a gray Honda Civic. Yes. One guy over here with a gray Honda Civic with a hybrid. Yes. And they're like twin brothers. <laughs> The, the guy with the hybrid is gonna win. All the, I, I, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, we can move on. What is the type of person that you have found from first-hand experience that wants a gray Honda Civic? Uh, somebody who can afford a gray Honda Civic. They're either good with their finances or they're trying to be, which I can relate to. Someone who's working their way up in their career. Serious about life and responsible. Could be as fuck. More logical. Probably analytical. The person just needs a good vehicle that works that can take them to point A and point B, and there's really no need to show off anything extra. They're not concerned with headlights that flip over. They just want headlights that work. On to the rankings. After checking out all 10 cars and having no clue who the owners were, the women were asked, which car owner would you be the most interested in dating? Out of the 10 different vehicle choices, this is where they each ranked this car. A Honda, so practical. We think alike. I highly value the practicality more than anything else. They must have bigger goals in mind than just a car. I put the Honda Civic as number one. They bought a good common practical card. There's nothing bad or wrong with it. Because this person is a blank slate, it's almost like a question mark. I know nothing. So I want to know more about the person. At number six, I put the Honda Civic. It's just kind of middle of the road. This could be a totally perfectly fine person, but whatever kind of spark might be there, they don't feel like I'm getting enough of their personality through the vehicle. So though I do appreciate practicality, and I think that's an awesome thing to have in a person is being realistic. I'm nervous that it's a very boring person that drives it. I think that a Honda Civic is a great commuter car. I guess what I like least about it is that it's not a hybrid. I do like that it's a Civic and that it's an everyday car and it's practical. I don't like how the shape is strange to me. It's all right, kind of nice. It's nothing special. Last place, begrudgingly, the Honda Civic fell lower and lower on my list when I realized this Honda Civic is most like my car. It is the car I would most likely pick for myself out of this list. And it'd be nice if my boyfriend had a slightly different type of car, different experience, different options. I'd be willing for him to have a crazier car. Note where I put the stupid gray Honda Civic. Most people if they had dated two people with the same kind of car, might be put off by that kind of car. But I'm persistent. The Honda Civic is a really good, reliable car, and I'll put it all out on the line for a Honda Civic. So where did the Honda Civic place against the other cars? Average all the women's rankings, and you get a stunning average of 4.8. Out of the six cars we've covered so far, that's good enough for second place. That's right, the lowly Honda Civic handily beat out such story nameplates as Lincoln, Mustang, DeLorean, and even Corvette. But as we found out today, just because you're a car enthusiast doesn't necessarily mean that your fun and unique car is going to be more attractive to women. A lot of ladies just want something reliable, safe, and sensible. And whether we like it or not, it's hard to go wrong with the Honda Civic. But will the Civic stay in second place? But we have four more cars to go that could easily change those rankings. Next up is a choice near and dear to car guys' hearts, the almighty E39 BMW M5. Will the women be as endeared to this wolf in sheep's clothing? The Beamer is the kind of car that's cut me off the most. Is it a manual? Super sexy if a guy knows how to drive sick. Because if he can drive a stick, then he knows how to drive some other things. You know what I'm saying? If you'd like to see more of this series, all available episodes are in a playlist link right here. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and leave a comment below. I love hearing your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.